Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vintage Story on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. Chiseling. Look at that. Once you do this, you can't place anything on it. I think that's really cool. It individualizes that block for sure. So I was I was just doing a little bit of chiseling. I'm keeping it pretty simple for my first kind of go at it here with the columns and stuff. So I'm just going to kind of go with a simple theme like this. And then I'm going to put it in the wood here too. So as we go by, you know, the wood's got a different little bit of a look to it. I was also curious when I first started doing this was does it show the inside of the log or does this texture continue in and it doesn't it actually removes the bark and actually takes you into the core of the tree which i think is pretty cool so if i just right click on this hit f i'm grabbing this guy first oh i gotta right click up there too because i'm starting on a different log and it's really easy and the chisel is pretty dang durable i'm happy to say that so far it doesn't seem like it's wearing down too fast on me and then hit F, and then I can drop down to this level right here and just come on down. I said, I told myself I was going to do this in the winter, and I haven't really done any of it. We put a little breaker right in there. I'm just kind of backing up to see if I'm, you know, more or less right across from it. Boom. So I figure if I do this on our inside pillars and give them all kind of this look it just adds a little flavor to it you know we could get all kinds of creative with it i in the starter uh the load loading pictures while you're waiting to get into the game it has a lot of the carving and stuff going on in it and it's really interesting there's everything everything you can think of not doing with the chisel you could do with the chisel it's pretty amazing you can get super detailed with it. there's some really cool screenshots as the game loads um, let me leave that there. Uh, and we've got one over there, so I'm good there. There is something splashing out here. I don't know what is going on out here, but it is obnoxious. Do I have anybody in the perimeter? I usually do. Oh yeah, here he is. There he is. You're dead. The gate's open. I've really got to start remembering to close that gate. Who is splashing around out here? I'm sitting in here hearing splashing, like just uncontrollable splashing. I don't see nothing. I don't see anything. Is it sometimes just sound effects? Just kind of background noise sound effects going on and it's got nothing to do with the what I'm actually hearing? Sometimes I wonder. So here, what I think I'm going to do here... I'm going to keep this one really simple. Just go like that, right there. Nope. And then come across here like so. Just so we've got a little something, you know? And then back to here. Just a little bit of design. Here and there in the base. Make it look nice. There we go, see? Gives a, just a little bit of character, right? If I were to hollow this block out in the middle, could I put a torch inside there? Does it... You know what I mean? Does, if I scrape that off of the bottom, I wonder if I could put a torch on that. I, I don't know. I think it's got to be on the top of the surface, though. Yeah, I think if I start with a block and I put a torch on it, I could chisel away at the block under the torch. And uh, it, there, it's got its base. But I don't know that I can erase the center of a block to do that. I may try that someday. I was wondering about the stairs. Just, you know, there's just so much you can do with it, right? I mean, I'd go nuts in here with this thing. We could do, we could do that design along here and stuff and, and put it up here and there. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with this uh, this chisel. It's pretty cool. Uh, on today's agenda, uh, other than getting distracted with a little bit of chiseling there, I'm not sure what it is I'm going to do. What day is it? It is January 2nd, so we still have seven more days of uh, January to go. We're at minus 13, and it's just now midnight, so I've got a little ways to go. Uh, my fruits down my vegetables are down my grain and protein are just fine so fruit and veggies I can bring the veggies up we made those 
uh, vegetable dishes last episode. So we've got that going for us. So I think we're good there. Oh, and you guys were telling me, giving me the, the correct way to do um, the um, oh, the lime that we were trying. I was trying to make over here. Apparently a barrel this will make quite a bit. I'm just not uh, reading my instructions properly. And I actually need to consult those so I can make sure uh, I know what I'm doing as I do that. Because apparently it makes quite a bit for uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, I, I don't have near enough bricks. That's probably something else I should do is fire up a bunch of these bricks, huh? Yeah. I could make a bunch of those and get them going. It was this quick line that we were working on. All right, let me uh, let me, let me me check and see, and then I'll come back. And I do want to get that going because I would like to try to make at least one of those brick blocks to see what it looks like. They say you learn something new every day. And I've learned something today that I did not know. Uh, let's go... Oh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna make some mortar. Scorpio left us in some instructions in the last episode on how to make mortar, these step-by-step -step instructions. The one thing that I didn't know how to do was, if I do this with my bucket, I have just now put in 10 liters of water. Now, for the life of me, I was wondering, how the heck am I gonna get one liter of water in here when this bucket holds 10? I don't know how to put just a liter of water in here, but if I hold down left control and right click on the bucket, the barrel, now I get one liter of water. So, <laughs> that is the first thing I needed to learn how to do, because uh, I had never done that before. Uh, let's click on this, and then we add, add the four, one, two, three, four, and there we've got our quick lime now. And now if I take my sand and I put my sand in here, any kind of sand, I have 32 mortar. But that is the key to getting this done, uh, is to make sure you hit control, right click your water in, and then go over here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make some more of it because, oh, can I make more? Or I just, I just, I have, I need to get more sand. I get more sand, it's okay. Uh, where did I get that last time? There it is. I want to make some of this stuff. Yeah, 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 you guys. Come on. Keep it down. Keep it down. Boom. 32 more. Okay, so we've got a full stack of mortar, right? Okay, I got a little bit more of this quick lime left. and We can make more if we need to. And we know exactly where we can go to get all the lime we want, uh, you know, forever and ever in a day. So I'm going to throw the mortar in there too. Well, hold on, the mortar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We had those bricks. I wanted to try these bricks out. Let's grab these guys here. I think it was just uh, all the way around once. Oh, I get four. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Okay. So let's go see how these look. I'm very curious about these guys. I like the grayness of them. I think they're going to stand out nice on this building. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, you sucker. Sneaky little bugger with your reach around the corner there and hit me. Did I gut that other one? Did we kill a, another one out here? Oh, we were talking in the other episode about, you know, getting that, um, the blocks put in place so that another, you know, chicken will be able to come in. Once we start feeding that chicken, maybe we'll draw another chicken in. Well, we got to also think about the fact that we have wolves. You know, we have a wolf issue. Did I skin that guy? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't recall. I've been working on this mortar thing for a while. Oh, we were going to try this mortar out, speaking, speaking of. Now, I thought if this looks nice... That's pretty. I like that. This might be a solution to my wood down here. I was thinking too. Let's try this out and see what happens. That doesn't look too bad. Listen to them all. There's a bunch of them in that cave underneath us here. That does kind of solve that little problem I had there, doesn't it? Oh, except for here now. Hmm. I mean, I could fix it in and, you know, short these up and stuff and change. I think I could change all that. I can add the wood back to it. But 
That looks pretty good chiseled out there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to change my mind on this. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to put those back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them back. We'll keep them wood, and then we'll chisel them, and that'll look nice. The chisel's going to look good. Let's take you out of here. Let's put you back down here. Let's put you there and you there. Oh, speaking of pine, um, I need... I know, I'm playing two different games that give you two different buttons to run. <laughs> so, you know, there's one shift, and this one shift is crouch, and control is run, and the other one is the other way around. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's like, I'm confused. I'm confused. I need to come in, too. Okay, we need to put these guys on here. Oh, I forgot. I should have grabbed four. Idiot. Nice. Okay, let me, uh, let's run back up here. We'll get two more of them. I don't like our our pit kill. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It looks kind of rushed and, and kind of hodgepodgey and just kind of junky. So I, I'm going to want to change that around. And I think what I'm going to do is attach it to uh, the back of the forge area here. It seems like if we had like a little bit of an exit right here and pulled that to the wall of, of the workshop, we could have kind of an entrance... It, it, it gives... Oh. Empty. Yeah, it's still empty. The bees don't want to buzz right now. It's too cold. If we take this roof line and drag it down this way, that should give us enough room right in here to have this. We'll try to incorporate all of this into it, but, um, of course, make it look better. Um, and make this structure kind of extend out this way, and then I would like a few more of these so we can get a few more of the bricks going uh, at a time. How many can I fit in here now? I could do tw well, that's an awful lot of math. 100, 180 something? I could do quite a few bricks right now. I might get some going. It just depends on how much blue clay I have. I don't know how much I have. Out of the way, snow. Can I get this? No, I gotta knock the snow out of there first. Huh, that's interesting. Some of the mechanics of the game I'm still, you know, obviously getting used to being so new to it but we're we're i feel i feel comfortable about the survival aspect in terms of how it goes towards the food i think i've got that figured out next winter we'll be doing uh, even better because i will have um jam made and things like that so you know like right now our veg our, our fruit is kind of tanking a little bit veggies are half down but we're gonna be we're gonna make it through the winter just fine i think I got plenty of food. Yeah, I think on the corners, I might go this route with these guys. What do you guys think? If anything else, these might not be bad for the chimney um, right here. The chimney on a place. Or in addition to, we can put it in the, we'll do the chimney as well with these bricks. It gives it a nice little look on the ends. Adds a color to it. I was thinking maybe we could add another one right there. And, you know, on the key locations where the logs are intersecting with it. Yeah, so we made a few blocks. We made some bricks. Let me go ahead and do... Let's, let's do... What do we got for... Okay, I'm going to take that right there. Let's turn it into bricks. I think it's just like this right here. Yep. There we go. 16. 32. Uh, I've got a little bit of grass on me, but we're going to need some more. I'll take that with us and see if that's enough. Let's put the bucket of water up here. Man, I tell you, it's nice having those backpacks. It's really sweet. I'm glad I waited. I'm fine with having to have waited for that. Do that right there, and... We'll just grab up that wood right there. What do you think? I think that would be a good idea. And then if we've got the helve hammer kind of in this area right here, um, that gives us plenty of room. Maybe even put the door over on this side. We'll see. Uh, well, the helve hammer is... It would be a very long way. It's a long ways away from me. <laughs> it just, just is. It just is. So if I put you guys in here, we do 12, right? And then we'll just do these other eight. There we go. 
Oh, I had I had one more, didn't I? I had one more. That pig is stuck in that little area. I think it's been pushed up against that fence the whole time because of the... Uh... Is that it? Raw blue clay brick. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Um, the snow in there is so deep that he got kind of up against the fence and the snow piled in around him and he's just kind of stuck there. I feel kind of bad about that too. Let's see if we can remedy that. I just noticed he's always sitting right there and I've, I've got to think it's because he's stuck. Thank you, radio. Thank you, radio. You're welcome, Peggy. Take it. <laughs> the chicken's always going to freak out. Unfortunately, I can't seem to hear the chicken inside. I would like to hear it inside the uh, the workshop. Oh. There we go. Take you off of there. We'll put you right over here. we go and one torch please okay so we got some more bricks going I like them I think they look pretty nice I bet I can make a green one like that I think I have to chisel smooth stone though to do it let's see that let's go uh, H Uh, paradise stone brick. Here we go. Uh, it does have a brick. How do I make this smooth stone? Ooh, look at that. Mixed dry stone. That's a pretty one right there. Wow. Some nice stones, huh? There's some really nice stuff in here. How do I make those stone bricks, though? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was it? We're just showing how to make this brick right here. I don't know. Some dirt and some stone, and I get that um, the stone path, huh? Does does the snow stick to the stone path? I mean, I think it covers it, but does it actually pile up on it like it does here? This is very piled up, you know. It's very deep snow. I don't think it does. It doesn't take long to get it out of the way. It's just you know, it's a little time consuming. That's all. And it it'll eat your shovel right up, so it's not worth using your shovel on. Okay, so we got some more of the bricks going. I like that. I think that's going to be nice. Don't forget, we're going to put some plant life around the base, too, and make it look, you know, dress it up. We just, this first year was all about, you know, am I going to survive the winter? And now I know what to do, so uh, it should get easier, right, on the other years? The next year, hopefully? I hope. Good God, I hope. But that looks pretty nice, I think, right there. Yeah, maybe we will put one up there. That's just going to add a little interest to the side of the building, too, you know? Having a different colored block up here would be nice. And then I need to get the uh, the rest of the roofing. Oh, you know what? We could do that, too, while we're at it right now. Oh, there we go. Yes and yes. Let's see if we can get a few of these put up. What am I doing? There we go. We need some dirt. There we go. Maybe I get one side done. I probably have enough grass to do the rest, but, you know. I didn't want to use it all up. Let it go the right way.
There we go. I don't know if it's worth... Well, we'll go over this way and do that side too. I can't wait for winter to be over. I'm kind of going stir-crazy a little bit. I want to go exploring, you know, but I know if I go out exploring, all I'm going to do is wind up making, you know, campfires for me every, you know, two, three minutes. So I'm going to hold off on that until I know I can... Come on. I saw it. Okay, can I jump one more time? Doesn't like it. God, how many more of these would I need? I could probably finish this off. That's wrong. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to go up there and put it back up there again. We'll just wait. I need, what do I need? I need two more, huh? Oh, God, just two more? Two more and a pine log? That's all I need up there, huh? Yeah, two more and a pine log. We should do it. We should do it. Let's let's do it. There's our pine log. Uh, I'll take a couple. And then I need a couple more of these bales. Uh, back to here. I'm going to take... Oh, I can only make the one bale. Uh-oh. Do I have any other bales over here? I don't think I do. I don't. I think I need... Four. Oh, God, it's expensive. That's good. I got eight. That's beautiful. That gives me more than I wanted, of course, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is as if I've never played the game before. I've got another brick in my pocket, too. What's the brick in there for? I must have forgot to put it in there. Okay. Up we go. We're fixing a few things that didn't get uh, put together properly. Oh, come on now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's just all going wrong. Everything's falling to the ground all the way? Or what are you doing over there? Come on. <laughs> what is going on? Why can't they fall right into my inventory? Just behave like good blocks. Awesome. Good deal. Did I even up on this side? Did I come extra one out? I came one more out, huh? Yeah, I need one more. I need one more log up there. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys can go in here. Let's fix that. These are those wintertime chores we do. Keep ourselves entertained while we can't uh, travel too far away from home. Well, I can imagine some of you have probably played this for... Uh, I know some of you have played it for multiple years on your own, but I mean, in terms of your world, uh, you've got to be quite a ways along, but it probably took you a, a decent amount of time to get there, too. Oh, there we go. Did I... Did I, I came out one extra, right? I did? Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know why that side looked weird and this side didn't, but it, it didn't it did look weird. All right, there we go. Another chore done. All right, guys, I'll be right back in just a second. So I picked up the glass we had cooking here. Is it the the fuel I had first? No, the quartz. Okay. There we go. There we go. And uh, I thought, you know what? I could cook up some more glass. We're going to need glass, right? I mean, that's just a given. Oh crouch there we go another chore in the winter now we're gonna have to go get quartz at some point in time here because that's pretty much all I had of that we've got the clear quartz but I'm kind of holding on to that for the the lanterns and stuff that we make should I be smelting this down into ingots let me know if that's a wise thing to do or am I okay with just leaving it the way it is there and, and you know if I need to I can make another chest and you know I'll put the stuff in there I don't have enough to make a second bloomery, otherwise I probably would, but I guess there's no sense in me doing that for the sole fact that I don't, I can't, uh, 
and any more quartz. So I'm out of that, but where are we putting our glass blocks? Right in here. Okay, so sweet. Oh. Okay, so we've got a little bit of glass built up. That's that's always a good thing to have. All right, beautiful. Uh, it's nighttime. It just turned nighttime. You know, I did not get in the last episode. And I realized I was out of was the medicinal plant. God, I wonder how hard that'll be to find in the in the woods. I was also noticing that over on this hill here, there's a couple of really big giant maple trees. I've noticed that in a couple of screenshots. I thought, you know what? I could cut those down and replant them, and then you know they come back. So I think that's what I'm going to do in this next day is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to actually get a couple of maple trees because I didn't get any maple trees last time. And the closest maple trees we have right now to us uh, is, of course, on the mountainside here. But I don't want to mess up the mountainside. But I figured if I cut a couple of big ones down and put seeds there, you know, they'll come back up and it'll look just fine. Um, our nearest maple is right over here. There's a whole bunch of it, remember? We walked across here. Matter of fact, we've actually cut, you can see... This is clearing up a little bit more, coming over this way, which is nice, because then we can cut across and kind of follow the water, and it takes us right over into this area here, which is a nice little area that I still want to go back and harvest the blocks and things of that nature there. But again, it's cold, it's winter. I'm not going to be able to run all the way there. I'm going to have to stop, build a fire, and all that. And so I, I don't really want to do that. Um, so I'd rather find things to do just right around here on the, around the base. I was going to go see if there's some blue clay that's visible that I can get to. We've got it marked in the map as well. It's just south of us here. Yeah, blue clay. It's I mean, it's right there. I was just wondering how much snow was on top of it, and it would be a hassle for me to grab, you know, a few more stacks so we can make some more of those bricks. And then also have it to do... Um, I want to get more of our, our house blocks here uh, put together. These guys right here. I want to get this these guys uh, worked out, and I would like to make some stairs. So it's going to require a lot of clay and a lot of this stone in here. I've got a little bit, uh, but not a whole bunch. And that's from digging out our, our tunnel right there. I don't know how you guys get so much stone. I, I just I find it to be a, a challenge to get uh, the stone because I just go, don't go digging for it very often. Anyways, um, so those are the kind of things on my mind right now is those maple trees because again like I said we didn't get any maple we got wood uh, but I've got that's all I've got for maple the oak of course we're keeping for the tanning and then I got a little bit of pine enough for us to you know play around with and have some fun with I got some pine seeds and stuff and some birch seeds to plant as well uh, the reason our trees are not coming up you guys say is probably because it is winter and as we hit winter it just kind of froze their growth cycle so I'm assuming that that's probably probably the case. Yeah, it's winter. I don't know the trees do a whole lot of growing in the winter months. Um, so blue clay, maple trees would be ideal, really ideal. If we could get those two things done in this next day, then that would keep me busy for a little bit more time. And, uh, you know, we can go on from there. What I should do is sleep. It's 20. Um... It's going to be very early in the morning when I wake up. But that's okay. I'll have to get my food filled up and stuff. Let's sleep. I'm going to sleep to 8.5. Seven hours, huh? Oh, this is the other bed that gives you 8.5. The nice bed. It's going to kick me out of bed. It's going to say, hey, radio, you're really hungry. Okay, there we go. I forgot I said I was going to do that, but we could sleep the nights away. I forget about that in this game. Because at the beginning, you're just day and night. You want to be doing something to, you know, improve your situation in the world. Uh, we need a jar of food. We'll take you and put you right on up there. Let's go downstairs and find a little bit of food. Now, does that further progress this as well? I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? When I sleep, my food goes down. But do other things in the house also uh, proceed uh, in, in advance quickly as well? Or is it just a food punishment? And uh, there we go. Beautiful jar of some vegetables. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm. That's nice being in here. I so enjoy being in here. Uh, we're not going to end this series just because I'm playing Valheim. You may see me play Valheim a couple times in a row, and this a couple times in a row, or back and forth. You know, We're just going to have fun with it. I enjoy, I, I enjoy being in this world. I'm really working out in my head right now. The windmill is the thing I'm really 
key on getting by the end of summer, but we're going to have to grow flax. That's why I'm not using our flax for just about anything at all. What time I wake up? It's 5 a.m. minus 18. Yeah, so it's, it's 6 below 0 in Fahrenheit right now, at least in that general area, 6 below. It's not freezing cold, but then again, I am not wearing... Uh, it, well, it is freezing cold. <laughs> it is, actually. Uh, I'm not wearing any um, protective clothing other than the rags that I have on so it would it would impact me considerably if I go outside right now uh, but uh, we will as soon as the Sun comes up and the temperature gets a little bit more reasonable that's about the coldest I've seen it so far at 5 a.m. I think the greenhouse gives you a, a minus 5 buff or something like that for the temperature so we've got a ways to go before that temperature starts to even think about getting to where we need it to be it can't get any lower than I think to minus 5 and then the seeds have got their uh, growth as well to them. And when spring comes, I do want to put in a couple of outside planter beds to get the grains going again really well. So we have a, a supply of uh, rye for the animals. Or no, the, the flax. I guess the flax seeds, right? We can feed the flax seeds to the animals. Okay, I'll be back. I'm just uh, filling you in on what's going through my head as I'm standing here thinking about um, how I'm going to proceed with our build here. And I definitely need that clay so I can get... Uh, our, our, our correct blocks put together here but it's, it's turning out it's I, I'm liking how it looks so far I'm gonna do the simple task of baking some bread as I'm waiting for the Sun to come up 645 yeah we're not on the other side of that Sun yet oh happy fall <laughs> it's fall summer's over it's cold in my house it's already kind of chilly out we were down to 34 this morning, I think. So just above freezing. I grabbed my crappy coat, threw it on, just to have it. It's it's almost jacket weather here. It took a little while for this to... Well, I guess... How far does it heat up? I can't remember. Oh, there it goes. It's almost done. There we go. 280 degrees. Is that what it gets up to? I think this thing is really cool. I'm looking forward to getting some berries so I can... Um, oh, and what if you said meat pie? I could make meat pie. That's another great idea. Yeah. I could take a pie and put a bunch of that raw meat that we find. and Or not find, but, you know, the meat. And do that. And then one of you saying that I, I could have made the... Taken a knife to the, the meat and made jerky out of it. And it would have uh, helped making the meat um, available to actually use. Lessons learned, right? Spelt bread. I don't know that I've ever had spelt bread. The oven is so amazing. It works really, really well. And I can't believe the animation of the bread rising. It's just crazy. Well, that's some dark bread, huh? Look at that. What's that one say? 300 satiation, satiation, eight days, grain, baking temperature 200, bakes into one spelt bread. Does it say charred? Is this charred? No, it's not. It does say it's charred. Did I not take it out in time? <laughs> Did I? I thought I I didn't. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Part baked. Okay, gotcha. That bread says it's charred. And, yeah, it's, I'm probably reading that wrong, huh? <laughs> it does say chart, but maybe I'm reading that wrong. Uh, we don't need a bucket on us. Ugh, these guys. These guys right here, I tell you. 
Come on. Come on, dingaling. Oh, I just hate it when you touch me like that. I just hate it. Okay, let's go check on clay. Do we have clay? What's my temp? 37.7. It looks like it's cold out. It actually looks like there's a storm going on right now. I'm just kind of curious to see if I can find some clay over here. Uh, F6. There's my map. <laughs> Not that it does me any good, but there it is. Yeah, that's a that's a big. This is the this is the minefield right here of holes in the ground. Blue clay. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be worth it. I guess that's not too bad. As long as I don't have to dig the snow off of it first, that works for me. Well, oh, awesome. Okay, this is working out pretty good. I'm kind of surprised, as you can tell. Looks like this is the final layer right here, but huh? Nope, there's a little bit more right there, it looks like. This is a great use of this shovel before its uh, life is over. Getting us some quality blue clay. It's a lot faster than the other shovel. But I've seen that iron one now, and it's like, dang, that thing is fast. Gotta go caving, right? How many of you guys use the um, prospector's pick? It looks kind of slow and tedious to me. I don't know if I'm into using it. Let me know if it's worth it. nice there we go okay I'm gonna take this down right here too that way we've got a way out if we fall in here look at the snow slide off that's pretty cool awesome let's make sure we got all of it we can get out of here just fine what's my temperature 37.4. Oh, we're looking good. Okay, sweet. Okay, so how much clay did we get? Oh my god, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's way more than I was expecting. Okay, let's go deal with those trees now. And we'll get these bushes out of here that are blocking our view from the house. Uh, I want to be able to see a little bit better. Initially, I was going to leave them kind of here, but it, to be honest, it, it does block a lot of my view from the house. And I'm not too comfortable with that. Get up. There we go. Sticks. Give me sticks. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Sticks. We've got time to come out and get sticks. I thought I saw my breath. My character. I thought I saw his breath. this month, you know. 37.2. Exciting video, huh? <laughs> it's hard to make it exciting. It's winter time, man. Uh, to be honest, in real my in my world, I would not be outside right now either, unless I had to be because 
I had to um, get rid of snow or something. That would be a reason to be there. Oh, that's a death trap just waiting to fall into in the winter. See, these trees right here are big. And I'm thinking if I take this guy, I could just replant him. Actually, it was this guy right here. He's a really big tree. And I could just replant him. I'll get a seed, and I'll plant it here. And come back, and it'd be like we never did anything. Because I didn't want to mess up this mountain, because it's, well, it's my view, you know. I might take both of these down here. This would give me plenty of maple to, to mess around with. We need to do the floor, and I don't want to just not have maple. If that makes sense. I think maybe I did okay here. Maybe. Okay, let's do that right there. Sticks, 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 and more sticks. There's a piece of vineage. Another stick. More sticks. And was this cave here? Right? Oh, seeing things. Right here. There we go. I get a couple of these I think that's going to uh, save the day we'll swap out the floor I'd like the middle of the workshop to be um, the maple flooring and then uh, off to the sides was where the stone's going to be did I get a seed I did awesome that's exactly what I wanted let's put him right back there and we're going to grab this guy right here. Maybe I should uh, do a little leaf busting first. Yeah, let's do this a little bit. Oh, I love how the snow falls off of the boughs of the tree. That is so cool. It comes crashing down. That's just neat. That's really neat. It's a nice effect. I know that feeling. I just know that feeling. It never fails. You're out snow blowing the driveway and the tree limbs that hang over the driveway have got snow on them and eventually they just eventually pop loose and next thing you know you got snow down your back from the tree above you what else is up here oh, there's a vine up here there we go did I get another maple seed? oh I got four more oh perfect well, you know what we do? Just do like so. I'm going to put you right there. Uh, we'll put you right here. And let's put one right here. And we'll put another one right here. And then I'm going to take these guys down. And we're set, man. We've got maple for days now. We could do some nice building with that. This is sweet. Okay, this is working out just great. I wasn't sure how I was going to handle this maple situation, but this is going to work just fine. Well. Okay, those guys will grow up and look nice. Let's go ahead and, uh, look, let's, let's put one. We need a tree right over here. Right here. Right here. Oh, grass. Don't waste the grass. There we go. Well, right there. And then I'm going to take this one too. Oh man, he's he's renewed. He has renewed vigor. He does. He feels good. It's a it's a nice January day. Oh, oh my God! Would you look at that? Look at this. Oh, I'm getting chilly. I'm starting to shake a little bit. Oh God! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get that horse tail. Okay. Let's grab this tree real quick. And we gotta get back to the house. Gotta go get warm. It's chilly. Walk around, see if we're missing anything. Who's flint? No, okay. Alright, nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Frozen pond. We'll be okay. We got seven. <laughs> we got seven of the uh Little horse tails. Well, that's a couple of bandages. That's, what, eight bandages I think we can make out of that? Woo! Chilly today! Oh, look at that. My inventory's jam-packed with goodness. Awesome. 
Let's put you in here. And I'm going to see if I warm up a little bit on my own, just walking around inside the base. I think I will. I'm going to put you... I keep hitting control click. Shift click. There we go. Uh, let's throw those seeds in there. Oh, man. We picked up a bunch of sticks, too. Look at that. We did really well with the sticks. How about the maple? How'd that do? Uh, we got a stack, two stacks, and two, huh? There we go. That looks much, much better. We've got a few planks already, but it's just a few. Okay, and then we need... I'm not going to be able to do that, huh? Let's do that right there. And... That improves our stick situation for sure. Play. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oodles of clay. Uh, we've got a little bit here that I can't actually fit in there. We're hungry. Let's eat some of this uh, spelt bread. Oh, look at that. That does a pretty good job. Oh, it sure does. I like that. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's good stuff. And from what I understand, I can actually stack the bread like on a table or something, right? Can I put it on a table? Can I do that? No, I can't. Hmm. I wonder if I can... Can I put it on a shelf? Oh, I can put it on a shelf. Huh. That's awesome. Okay. That is really cool. Okay, you can put the bread on the shelf. That's neat. I would think I would be able to be put, put the bread down. Hmm. I guess I can't. Okay. Wow. We got some work done today. Holy crap. I'm... I'm I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to get anything done today. But we did. We have um, some etching done with the chisel. It's a, it's an interesting, interesting tool. You could really get crazy with it, too. I could actually trim this down even more, and we could have just the uh, inside wood showing uh, on the outside here. I could trim all that off and make these look a little bit thinner. If I took all this off right here, we just had this as the post this inner part that would be kind of interesting that's just it I mean God, your imaginations really truly the limit yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did hit that like button for me comment subscribe and share on the radio man zero three have an awesome a fantastic and a superb day and I look forward to talking to you again next time